Fancy footwork. The term conjures up the thoughts of Barry Sanders making an entire defense miss, or soccer great Pele, dazzling a nation with his skills. But as Stephen Bardo found out, you don't have to be an NFL star to have fun and show off your stuff. Do you remember this? The hacky sack craze that swept the nation during the 80s. Believe it or not, hacky sack has now graduated to a professional sport called footbag. Footbag started in 1972 in Portland, Oregon, um, from two guys named John Stahlberger and Mike Marshall. They used to go out and try to rehabilitate their knees from football injuries, um, and they'd fill a sock with beans, and, uh, and they would uh, kick it around. Footbag now has two types of competition. Footbag net is similar to badminton as players kick back and forth over a five-foot net. And freestyle footbag is the more popular version, using consecutive kicks within a routine. We've developed a system of points where each trick is worth a different amount of points. And so you have like five different component families. And so if you catch it on your foot, that's worth a point. If you go around it with your leg, that's worth a point. If you spin, that's worth a point. So things like that. Similar to a jazz artist, the ability to create or to improvise is key in the freestyle. And like most pros, they make the very difficult look really easy. During the World Cup, when it was being held here in the United States in Los Angeles, Sam Conlon met Pelé, and he said she was the most um, coordinated person he had ever met. Footbag will need to find a Pelé-type star to take the sport to the next level. Stephen Bardo, CBS 2 News. All right, it is an alternative sport. You think a guy with 15 <laughs> shoes? No, you think I'd be good? I have 15 feet? Not good at all. Oh, yeah, I, I'm sure I couldn't do it either. <laughs> I got 12. <laughs> it's a man's sport, apparently. Uh,